The muddy waters of Louisiana are home to many things. Crawfish is one of them. It's about the waters, it's about the land. Louisiana made it famous. The catch is made. This is the part I love. And within 24 hours, the crawfish need to be shipped and delivered to restaurants across the nation. What is my day like? <laughs> it's a race against time. Pray to God I can sell it before it dies on me. Battling Mother Nature. Eel, snakes, raccoon. You got the geese that'll mess with you, and you got the crackhead that comes steal everything out of your boat. And each other. I've met a lot of nice people in what I do, and I've met a lot of assholes in what I do. The only thing about the crawfish business is a bunch of backstabbers. In order to get these Cajun critters boiled and cooked to perfection. This is just a bad day for me. Oh my lord. Welcome to the crawfish business. We call them the Crawfish Cowboys. Ninety percent of the crawfish in the U.S. comes from Louisiana. But only a tight-knit group control this lucrative business. We watch my rabbits boink. Talk to me, mama. Scream, scream lot down. <laughs> what in the hell did I get myself into? And no matter who you are, you know or heard of the Cajun. You've eaten the food. We're just the one that gets to supply everybody. It's the ultimate goal to catch a thousand pounds of better to the acre. It all starts with a fisherman. It's about survival rate. I seen one trying to do a doggy style, but all you could hear was no penetration. My name's Cody Newman, and they call me the Code Man. Oh boy, good boy. All right, give me some knuckles. There you go, buddy. My involvement in the crawfishing business is I not only fish myself and buy from other fishermen, but we ball crawfish to go. Here's the crawfish we'll be balling today. They'll roll for about six, seven minutes. That'll make a fella some money. I'm a one-man show, pretty much. After the catch, the crawfish are sorted at the dock. 31, number two. Where they live and die by the pound. Big, large, small, we sell them all. Started my own crawfish supply company. I've been hated ever since by most of the other docs. When are you gonna come work for me? What are we gonna do with her? <laughs> She's gonna be your boss, what you talking about? <laughs> Nothing goes over me. They try to, but it don't work. I go in 30 different ways in a day. I rely on her. Try for a quarter. Come on, make me some money. F you. Travis, my boss gets on my damn nerves. It's always in my goddamn way. I don't let mean people work for me, but I let a bitch run my business any day of the week. <laughs> Then within 24 hours, the runners rush to deliver the crawfish to restaurants throughout the country. California, Florida, Las Vegas, Baltimore. If they want it, I can get it. How many more we got? 42? Okay. My name is Vincent Florio. I'm a buyer for crawfish. If they don't make the deadline. Get it to the airport. Hope they put it in the cooler pretty dash burn quick. They'll have dead crawfish. Well, for every crawfish hill, that's money pulled out of your pocket. And a dead business. I'm in uh, quite a pickle right now. My transmission just went out on my van. These crawfish entrepreneurs buy low and sell high in one of the most cutthroat businesses around. A lot of people do it illegally, should you say. You're not going to make many friends, but I don't care. It's business, just business. Over 100 million pounds of crawfish are harvested every year. Only a small amount of fishermen supply this demand. When they couldn't get crawfish from anybody, I was the one to get it for them. We can just do it better than everybody else. With an unregulated business. A good buyer is like a good girlfriend. They never tell you no. <laughs> In an explosive part of the country. The risks are high. I sunk about 30 grand in this pond. We had two crawfish and get killed. I can buy 4,000 pounds a day. If I can't sell all of it, I screwed. And the crawfish are temperamental. They will kill you with my claws. There's only one thing that's predictable about a crawfish, and that's they're unpredictable. But the fishermen, even more so. This one will cut you off here. This one will start rumors there. It's always some bullshit. They're worse than females. After all the poo poo talk done got through, it broke out into a big ass fight. This has been the best life changing experience that I've ever had in my life. It's the best way to make a chaotic living I can think of. The, the Crawfish Cowboys. This is what it is. If you don't like it, later. From Warm Springs Productions.